Pelican Harbor Marina. Windy day out here today, and we came out actually to shoot the brand new 34 Reef Runner. So we jumped aboard our 23 Reef Runner, the smaller, younger brother of the 34, and we're gonna show you what this thing is all about. Enjoy. with Donna testing out the skyhook system. You can see what that does. It basically changes the angles of all three outboards to be able to put you in the position that you want. So you can turn the joystick and either sidestep, you can spin the boat. It really helps out when it comes to docking and any sort of maneuverability, especially if you don't have a ton of experience running a center console that size. walkthrough on the Reef Runner 34 here. First thing you're going to see is that it's nice and wide, 10 foot beam. This is a 14,000 pound boat wet as it sits and how it was tried today. So we got triple 300 Mercury V8s in the back and we hit speeds upwards of 64, 65 miles an hour. Today you have a nice transom here set up to make it usable if you're doing any sort of diving or hanging out at the sandbar. You got a 60 gallon live well here in the transom and a port side dive door, or transom door. I'm gonna uh, pop this open. Lift and turn. Lift and turn, there we go. Got that, so easy access to the transom. Gives you a great amount of space to do any uh, activities you like to do there. Take a look here into the bilge. Excellent space to get to your pumps and everything you need to do in here. Nice finishes on the underside of the hatches. You got your aquarium window here to keep an eye on your live baits, which is always nice while you're driving the boat. And then you can actually either use this as storage hatch or you can plumb this as a, uh, another live well in deck, and this is 50 gallons here. You got port and starboard fish boxes, great size. Excellent for doing long trips over to the Bahamas, loading up with fish, anything you guys like to do. And then rear facing bench seat, really comfortable, whether you're trolling, watching baits, or just hanging out here and having this as an entertainment space. You know, these turn out to be really nice and you can see you have a great amount of space beyond that as well. Lift this up and you have an insulated cooler underneath. So we have it set as storage right at the moment. And you got some storage right here. And then I think, Donna, do you have some under here? And pop this open. So this is additional tackle right under here and hides perfectly behind this backrest. Here we have the helm area. As you can see, they have two 16 inch Simred MFDs. They have this protective covering, which allows you to close this up and lock it uh, wherever you may need that. Your switch panel right here, fusion head unit. You got JL audio sound system, otherwise throughout with the, ampl the amplifiers and speakers. You got your vessel view right here, VHF, Seat Keeper unit. This one does have a, have a Seat Keeper uh, on it. You got your Mercury joystick right here, which we've used a bit today during this photo shoot, which makes things very comfortable. Trim tabs, push button, start, and your windlass control. Otherwise, you get great visibility, excellent oversized hard top, really nice helm chairs that are adjustable right here. Overall, great setup on the 34 Reef Runner. All right, so we have a great size console here on this 34, and let's go ahead and take a quick look inside. So plenty of head space, as you can see, you got your head, sink, you got your uh, fuse panel, you got your ignition switches, battery switches, access to rigging right here as well as up top for your MFDs. Easy to get to everything. Really nice and comfortable. And again, an excellent space for a 34 foot center console. So 
So working our way up to the bow, first thing you're gonna notice is that this boat feels a lot bigger than 34 feet. Reason being, the way that the hull design is allows that 10 foot beam to work its way just about here, and then it starts closing in, but you can see the amount of room you have up in this bow area. This one in particular has optional uh, bow seating which gives you storage underneath, which is very useful and obviously turns this whole area into an additional entertainment space while still offering you a ton of room to get up to the bow. They open this up here so you can get to your anchor locker, throw your anchor off here with ease and that forward seating doesn't get in the way and this one has a, uh, a windlass up in the bow area. Look underneath me, you have a massive storage box. Let me pop this open. So great spot to be able to load up gear for long runs. You have the little indentations to put uh, buckets, whether you want to you know, store leads for deep dropping, cast nets, things of that nature. It'll hold that in, in place perfectly. Here you have another box, which also can be added uh, as an additional live well in deck if you would like. This is 45 gallons up here. So tons of storage space, tons of live wall space if you're into heavy fishing. And check this out, it just keeps on going. So this is a storage box. You have here both port and starboard. And then we'll work our way actually to another one. Right here alongside the console. Then you have your freshwater tank in there, but additional storage as well on both sides. more of this boat, we'll do some fishing on it and really put it to the test offshore sometime soon. So if you like our content, like, subscribe, please share it with your friends, we really appreciate it. We'll have much more coming soon here at Center Consoles Only. My name is Alan.